for ingredients, we're going to need two bars of dark chocolate, salt, vegan butter, bicarbonate of soda, vanilla extract, chia seeds, plain flour, and soft brown sugar. I'm going to start this recipe by preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and then I will be chopping up my chocolate into chocolate chunks. So I just lay it onto a chopping board and using a large knife roughly chop them into pieces. I'm using two different chocolates here but um, you can use the same. I just like the bitterness of the darker chocolate mixed with um, the more sweetness of the less dark chocolate. Once those are all chopped up, you can pop them in a bowl, ready to add to the mix later. So in a mixing bowl, we will then be adding our two cups of sugar, as well as a large pinch of salt and a splash of the vanilla extract before adding in a cup of vegan butter. I did it in two half cups. <laughs> so it is one cup of vegan butter as well as a tablespoon of chia seeds that's going to act as our egg replacement and add some omega-3. And to activate that I've added two tablespoons of vegan milk but you can just use water. It doesn't make a huge difference. Then you're going to mix that and cream that together. I'm using a mixer, but you can use your hand and then you can add in three cups of flour into that slowly once it's all creamed together, like so. So add in your flour and you want to get a texture um, as that mixes in that looks sort of like um, this in the end. I'll give you a shot of that, but just keep adding the flour in slowly and if you're mixing by hand, just keep mixing that in and this is the sort of texture that you're looking for. Um, so it holds together, but it's not too thick, thin. And then add a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and then your chocolate chips. And you don't want to mix for too long because you don't want it to get too chewy. And once that's all well combined, you're ready to start baking. So this is what your mixture should look like. And this is so delicious. I'm not gonna lie, I did eat quite a bit of cookie dough in the process. So you wanna grease a tray and roll out some dough using your hands. I just use a spoon in my hands, then pop that in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes until golden brown. And I've done this in batches because you want to keep gaps between the cookie dough so it'll flatten in the oven. And then you're done. Once you bake them all, they should all look all golden and cracked and delicious and they'll be crispy and a little bit gooey. 